it's been yanked out. And because it's um, it comes because it's got. Stay tuned to the end to see how we did that. It's bloody cold, is what it is. Good morning. It says it's two degrees, so we can work, but it does not feel like two degrees. As you can see by this uh, frosty roads. So, it's the 17th of December today, so it's the first warm day in like a week, because obviously it's been like minus six the last few days, but we're back at it. Battery died on 70%, that shows how cold it is, but I'll pass you up to Dad and he'll give you the rundown of what's happening. Let's see if he catches this. These will make some good bloopers. Got ya. Okay, here we are. Up on our scaffold. A little bit of ice still, but we've got some salt with us. It's actually um, it's over a week now since we've worked because, as you all know, middle of December it's been minus up to like minus 11 degrees, I think. So today we've got a good day. It's quite cloudy today, so the temperature's increased a bit. We've got two degrees and rising. But um, what we're doing today is inserting lintels in here, as you can see. There's no lintel in there. Just take your little Plastic never one. So there you go. That is not good. Look at the state of that. Pretty much held in with silicon. And all this is sat on this window frame, so I'm not sure if these windows open properly or not. So the plan today is, I've done next doors well, probably about four or five years ago. We're going to copy that. We're going to take a little brick work out. We're going to cut these down. Down to the level with the window so we can sit the lintel at that level. As I was saying, we're going to cut this half down to here. We're going to sit the lintel on there. And we're going to put the house back in. We're not going to bother raising the lintel up because these windows are staying. So we don't want to put this big gap in here. Plus, these bricks are absolutely massive and we wouldn't be able to get a decent enough match. What I mean is the mulch holes we get are like 15 mil shorter than that. So it just look a mess. So we're gonna do that. Take everything out, put everything back. No, no, we're not bothering cavity tray. Absolutely pointless under this face of wooden soffit. It's no point. So basically it's take out, link us in, put back. Um, the house isn't insulated, as you will have seen in the other video we did, when we did the kitchen window down there. But um, we did we did insulate behind the lintel, and we're going to insulate above this lintel, so that if they ever do ever get the insulation blown in, then this bit will be sorted. Obviously, this isn't um, per this isn't ideal, but that's the design of these houses, some fun designs. So yeah, that's it. That's the plan. Once Alex got the dust sheets out, we're going to cover the windows up and I'm going to start taking this out. The only, the only fun bit is getting the last couple of bricks in because it's very... We'll have to actually cut that one down and, and slide it in. I'm pretty sure that's what I did next door. So yeah, this isn't going to take much knocking down, so I don't think we're even going to bother with power tools today. Yeah, so um, Alex is getting organised down there. Getting himself warm. I actually haven't got a coat on. I'm getting mad because something must have gone wrong when we were loading that van. Why? Because I just got the mixer out. What's that? It's the lead. It's been oh. yanked out. Oh. I don't know if the I don't know if the lintel's cut it off. I can fix it. But what a pain in the ass. Leave the, leave the sand in the van till the last second till we need it. Yeah, we're gonna uh, get cracking, so time lapse, here we come.
There you go, 20 past 11. Another life. Let's manage to get another mix in before it dies. Alex has got, all, got everything cleaned up. What is it, about 30 halves? More than 30, isn't it? A lot of halves. Um, 50, 50. 50 halves. 50 halves. And, and about 50 bricks. Yeah. Yeah, so Alex got all that sorted. All the bricks are. Those you say he does nothing. He's busy up there while well, I'm busy down here. You can't always see him on camera because he doesn't know he's doing the brick lane. But he's doing all the messing around in the background, all the tidying up, all the mixing, fetching and carrying up and down the ladders. So um, just remember that. Thank you. And we're back. 84% of the battery died. Yeah. Not impressed with this GoPro at the moment. We're starting to fall out with this GoPro. Ready for this kind of stuff. There we go. 83% and it still switched itself off. So let's make this short. I'm going to stop. Alex is going to get the line set up. We're going to put lintels up when I get up there. We're going to get some mortar up. So I'm going to start passing mortar up. Then I'm going to get up there with Alex, get set up. Lintels on, etc. Packed up, line up. There's no trays going in. We're going to put some insulation up there because obviously when if they do come and inject the house, they can't get up there. So we're going to uh, insulate that top bit with the insulation. I'm going to take the Evolution hoover up with us to hoover it on top of the frame where all the debris is. And Alex is going to take that inside later because when you've when you disturb the windows, you disturb the cork and the seal between the plasterboard on the top reveal and the window. So all the dust starts falling in then. So you, we can see through the windows, all the window sills are full of muck. So once we're done, the customer just needs to run a bead of cork along the top of the windows. But we've got that handy thing to take with us cordless. I, I'll just take it up with him, hoover it up, and then it's done. I'm not, not leaving it to the customer then. So, um, yeah, we'll get up there, we'll get set up, and we'll get this brick working. Oh, it's only half 11, by the way. It's got Things are going okay. We keep getting rain, but um, it's three degrees, and it's mostly dry, so we're cracking on. So this is our line just at the top of the lintel, gives us a couple of mil above. And we're going to cut this brick like that and like that. And then the halves are going to sail through to that half of brick. Like I say, there's no tray or anything going in here, it's just lintel insulation brickwork. Same again there, we're going to cut that split. And we're going to cut that half as a split to match next door. there you have it. That's the plan. I'll, I'm going to mark these up now. Alex is going to go down with the evolution saw, which is down there in the drive. And get these three cuts for me, which will be straight through, because it's like I say, it's 150mm cut. Cracking piece of cake. So yeah, that's that. We'll get the lintels on and probably have a bit of dinner. There you go. So we're back. Monday morning. Into Fairwoods. Picked up. Uh, three metre angle line. No 2700. The, um, the reason we picked the three metre was because at 10 past 12 when I put the lentil up on Saturday. Just give it a short. We wouldn't go near it so. We just had to build over the small window, get that finished. I don't think we called it that because we'd had enough power and switched off. So I'll take up and show you that bit. So we've got the two smooth lintels there. I hope you can hear me over that stupid mixer. So we've got this one to cut in half for our next job because it didn't have any 1500s. And we've got this one to cut down for this job. It's got a massive upstand, but we're not putting a tray in this, so it doesn't matter about the upstand. It's probably better for the big span anyway. When things go wrong, it t just tends to get worse and worse and worse for us. So it's currently raining, which we can cope with that. We can get the brickwork finished. I've just gone to put the trim up there. We've got a 30 mil trim. 30 mil trim won't cover the gap. It'll go in the gap. And the double-sided tape won't stick to the wood. So the trim's 
just falling out and because it's actually curled and it's cold it won't we can't get it back to being straight so it just keeps pushing off and pushing off so that's another thing I'm gonna to have to do now I'm gonna go and get some 50 mil trim a 50 mil D to put over that gap so the actual D will stick plastic to plastic and then I can seal it properly so that should have been finished now that's not getting done late till later hopefully we're going to get done for dinner time so I can take Alex back and I'll come back later and do that just such a pain in the arse uh, this is all got to be sprayed with the Thompsons and we're going to spray it around here as well where the old commons are it's proper ropey that um, yeah I think that's it oh yeah um, our grinder we lent to Robbie so we've got no big grinder so we're going to have to cut these down with a 4 inch grinder uh, what else has gone wrong got insulation no I think that's it for today so I'm hoping our luck starts to pick up after this um, I just need to get on to Malcolm about the scaffold to get that dropped before Christmas because it's currently the 18th of December and obviously they don't want that up over Christmas so that's it for now I'll get back to you when there's something to report right there you go there's Saturday's effort I've cut the brick down put the slot of the lintel in 100mm and because of this silly 100mm pillar all we can do with that is 50mm either side seating for each lintel that would be an issue but that's it above brick and edge two coarse of brick holding nothing that's just purely decorative you like and then there's our new lintel took some cutting that because we haven't got the big grinder we actually used a little grinder with a 6mm thick grinding disc that was a pain to get done yeah that's all in solid it's all packed up stop it sagging you can see how much the brickwork has sagged onto the window knackered the window up see, it's almost touching at that end and then these gaskets have had it we need to speak to the customer about these telling me they need they could do with new windows really they're all knackered they're all, they're all the gaskets have shrunk and come out so in a bad spot there as well at the bottom of the window because water can get in there look at that so um i'll take a few pictures then for the, for the customer let them know look at that one see that if you try to stretch that back in there it'll probably snap fully perished so anyway, line set up for me brick and edge. Mortars on the board. Alex is round the corner. Oh no, he's not, he's there. He's doing the Thompson's water seal around that corner. On that wall in the back. Customers asked to see that while we're here. Just above the other lintel we did. And then um, hopefully we'll get out of here for dinner. Hi, right, I'm done. Oh, you're done? Do I just uh, for a little water in? Is there any left in it? Hmm? Is there any left? No. Right, okay, well, make sure you spray it till it's gone. Half fill of water, good shake, give it a good spray, rinse it out, put another more water in, another rinse through. So just rinse it through twice, make sure you spray it. I, uh, I went up to, I went up to the window sill. Right. Right. Do you give it a good soaking on the back? Yeah. And they um, did the return of it as well, just in case, a little bit. Okay. Cool. So there you go. That's us. Um, as I explained before, the trim's too small, so we're back. We're back in the area tomorrow, so we'll come and get that trim on. Finally, we'll go and buy some 50 mil. So yeah, um, this could probably be sealed because it's down like five mil down to ten, back to five mil. But this one can't. You've got almost ten mil there. Up through to about twenty in the middle. Back to about 10 at this end. That's got a bit of an overhang lip that, so that's bigger than it looks. But anyway, enough waffling, let's get this brick working and get out of here. Oh yeah, we've insulated it here because if they do decide to have the, the insulation blown in, obviously this top bit's never going to get done. So that's that's insulated from the lintels up, up into the eaves, right to the top. Obviously that can't be insulated. That's proper proper cold spot that. And probably a damp spot as well. Probably a, there's a tiny bit there. Return there, return there, so less than 300 there, just a little strip down there. And then a bit under the windows. Oh, yeah, I also need to tell him this flashing's all coming out, so we need to start looking at. It's not very good, that. It's 
a bit of attention. There you go. How goes the uh, the battle? Well, it's uh, we're getting there. It's straightforward enough. It's not the easy one, but it's it's a huge campaign. Just following up here, really. You've been fueled back up with the sausage roll, <laughs> sausage barn, whatever. Yes. So there we go. Just a bit of brickwork left, and then. We're out of here. I'm tidying up downstairs. And um Yeah, so that's, that's all there is to it. So I'll throw you back on time lapse to this last bit and uh, I'll see you for the outro. So all the brickwork up and behind the so soffit. Solid soffit. 
nice solid all bricks stay tuned to the end to see how we did that end of the video from home because we forgot to film an outro at the job so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more hit that subscribe button and tap on that bell icon so you always get notified it's always a massive help to the channel we greatly appreciate all the support this has been Brooklyn with Steve in the uh, in the living room editing and Alex in the kitchen doing my outro and we'll see you in the next video